hello guys welcome back to my channel hope you're having a wonderful day welcome to another vlog today is what fourth <laughs> today is fourth okay so i'm trying to see if i can put the date on the start of the daily vlog so welcome back to another daily vlog please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment share it subscribe turn on your notification bell that says oh okay that is the first one that says oh subscribe button is right down here the red one just click it it's free of charge okay guys so let's get into today's vlog okay okay guys so i'm going to show you guys how i make my hair i normally grow my hair myself sometimes i go to the salon to make twists okay but normally what i do is i do little um little or for a little something i don't know just use the black rubber band to hold it but first i'm going to show you guys i blow my hair dry first i use this um i'm in my bathroom guys so i use this revlon um come the little thing i've been using it for quite a while so the little pinky thing they are coming up so i'm not the only one that uses hair dry this air comb dryer brush <laughs> my daughters they also use it and of course when they use it they leave their hair sometimes on it so i have to take it out so i'm going to first of all comb it i've already plugged it so i'll comb it first when i finish combing it then i'll show you guys how it looks because the noise of this thing is quite loud okay so i'm going to um, fast forward the clip where i'm blowing dry the hair the noise is very loud guys okay so yeah so let me show you guys how i comb my hair and also let me show you guys the i think i've shown you guys already the hair cream i bought for my children okay let's turn this or let me just let me turn the camera around i'll show you guys okay guys so i use my own cream which i make for my hair but it's finished you know i use the um shea butter black jamaica costa oil i have a cream i made for my hair but it's finished so i'm going to be showing you guys where i make another one so for the main time i'm using this one i think i show it in one of my vlog where i went to the afro hair um shop i think when i came back what i bought i think i showed this so i bought it because of this argon oil and it smells it smells really nice so it looks like this inside and it smells divine i love the smell of it so i've rubbed some already on my hair so i'm going to blow dry my hair now and i'm also going to be putting this on the section when i section my hair okay guys so this is my natural is it 4c they call it so that's the hair so let's blow dry it okay guys please give this video a thumbs up share it comment and subscribe
guys so what i did first was i used my big red comb okay to comb the hair first okay so before i blow dry it and then i'm using the big red comb again so my my cream which i sell on my website sophiasfab.com it was actually what helps me to grow the hair first i used when i cut my hair completely low if i find a picture i will insert it here so you guys can see how low or if i find a clip of a video i made when i cut my hair i will insert it so that you guys can see how short i cut it completely low then i start growing it with my cream but the cream now i, I finished the one i'm using personally but i still got the ones i'm selling on the website so it's what i used to grow my hair before i went to twist it the twist i just took out okay guys so that's the back of my hair so i'm still i'm still going to blow dry it a little bit more before i start making it okay guys so let me just blow dry it a little bit more and then i have to use my mirror in the bathroom here and start to make it okay okay guys so i'm going to be using this black rubber band my cutting comb okay and i'm going to try and put the cream at the bottom of the hair i still got my big comb here okay guys so when i'm doing my hair myself i'm not able to really cut the line straight but i'm just showing you guys how i grow my hair without having to go to the hairdresser every time so I just take some black rubber band, put them in where I can easily reach. So I start from anywhere. I don't really have a starting point. Okay. So I just start from any point. I cut them big, big. I don't do it small, small. I normally cut it big, big, big. So normally I use my mirror. But because I'm doing this video. I think I'll be using the video and the mirror, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll be looking at myself on the screen here and also looking at the mirror. So I just start from any, any direction and yeah, I just section it. I section it anyhow I can, pull the cream anyhow i can <laughs> because when you're making your own hair you can't really see what you are doing properly most of the time you can't really see what you're doing here yeah. so i normally just use my hand to just feel it so i take a rubber band sometimes i use two just in case one breaks and then i use i do i use two in case one of them break So I just hold it really. So I normally do, I do it like this until the hair grows to the way I like. And then I stop doing this. That's how I normally grow my hair. Okay, so I just twist it. And me, I'm just that kind of person who doesn't really bother out of what people think <laughs> about my hair though. Because I remember when I used to when I used to work at a certain place, my former workplace. When I used to grow my hair, that's years back. I used to do it like this. And people used to say, Oh my god, why am I doing my hair like this? I look like a child. I used to tell them it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, that's what I want to do. And they always used to the nurses, they used to always touch my hair. <laughs> the nurses would touch my hair and said, and they would say, oh, why you just like your hair like this? I'm like, I'm growing my hair, I don't really care. Well, that was the one I cut off now, the hair I cut off. So, they are all used to seeing me cutting and growing my hair and making it like this. <laughs> but that's years back. So guys, so I just twist it. And while I'm doing my hair, 
I wanted to talk about something. I know some of you might not know about Big Brother Ninja. So they are showing Big Brother Ninja season 6 at the moment. And um, I was watching it this morning. I just wanted to ask a quick question. You know, just you guys, you just leave me your comment. See? I just caught it anyhow. Just leave me your comment and tell me what you think about this question I want to ask. Do you think it's a good thing for someone to say a girl or a lady is a street girl? If you understand what I mean. But one of the contestants was calling someone a street girl. Do you think it's a good thing for someone to call somebody a street girl? Just because of the way they look, the way they appear, the way they dress, or what they do to themselves. Do you think it's a good thing to say because of that, you feel that the person is a street girl? Just by looking at the person, you know, just because what they say, or let me say the way they appear, their appearance. So, you know, I use that to judge them. Do you think it's a good thing to say the person is a street girl just because of that? Or uh, the person is, is a street lady just because of the way they appear to you? Or what they do to their body? Or what they do to themselves? Please leave me your comments and let me know what you think. And the Big Brother Ninja, this morning I was watching. If you are watching Big Brother like me, you know, the one of the guy, Perry, he was a wild card, one of the wild card, was talking with um, Boma. Boma is the... Boma is the... Um, Head of house. Head of house. So it's also a content start anyway. He was discussing with Perry. Perry was discussing with him. They are talking about the ladies. So I know some of the ladies are, most of them are single anyway, but I think there's about two. Either two or one of them that is married. That is married. There, I think. Yeah, so they were discussing about the girls, the girls they like. And Perry was now, Boma was talking pretty nicely about Angel. He was talking pretty nicely about Angel. And only for Perry to be saying that, no, 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 in a very low, in a whispering low voice, because he doesn't want anybody to hear what he's saying. He doesn't want the other housemates to hear what he's saying. So... In a very low voice, he was now saying to Boma that peace is a street girl, that you shouldn't go for her. That she's a street girl. That if Boma was interested in peace, he shouldn't go for her because the girl is a street girl. Just because of the way he sees her because of her appearance. Or because of what she does to her body. Don't know. She has a lot of tattoos and all that. You know. Because of what maybe because of what she does. I don't know. Maybe I, but what I feel is that because of someone's appearance does not always mean you should you should think they are street girls. Some of those people they are very nice people. That's what they choose to do to their body. Someone's put all the tattoos of this world in their body. It does not always mean that they are bad people or they are doing some kind of certain things to their body. Or the way they dress, or the way they talk. It doesn't always translate that they are street people, or they are street, they are on the street, or they are street girl or street lady. And also this particular girl, <laughs> she's been the talk of the town from the one, I would say. Because she was the first, is she the first lady? Yes, she was the first lady to be introduced into the house. And the outfit she was wearing was exposing all her boobs. All her boobs was exposed on the outfit she was wearing. And a lot of people has been, a lot of guys especially, they've been saying her boobs is sad. There's so much comment. Now these are Nigeria news platforms. 
the way she exposed her saggy boobs. The girl is just very comfortable and confident with her body, which I love. I love the fact that she's very comfortable, confident with her body. And some people are intimidated. Some people are intimidated by it. She's very comfortable with her body, with her skin, with the way she looks, so she doesn't care. And I thought I love her for being comfortable, confident in her body. She's okay. You know? But I don't think it's a good thing for someone to be discouraging someone at all. Because of the way she looks. Or because of the things she, she does to herself. She's a street girl. She's a street girl kind, the way she dress and all that. Okay guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. What do you think so far? My hair is getting there. So, I just continue to do that. You can see it's nearly done. <laughs> That's what I do. I just do it to the best of the way I can. I'm using the camera as I say to, Because I'm talking to you guys, so I'm not... Sorry, I'm showing my, <laughs> my elbow. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, so I'm doing the side now. So, because I'm not looking at the mirror... I'm not looking at I'm looking at the mirror right now. Now I'm able to because I'm doing the side. So I'm just showing you guys the way you can do your own hair at home. If you have a short hair like me and you don't want to have to be going to the salon every time. Because the salon is not even cheap in this country, you know. The twist I took out was cost me with the hair, everything cost me. Was it not 60 pounds? Yeah. So I can see that it's not cheap to make your hair in the UK. So sometimes you have to make the hair yourself if you know how to do it. So what I do is I just twist the rubber band. Okay. I just twist the rubber band around this. So it's hot. Today's weather is a bit warm. So you guys should tell me, do you think it's good to body shame someone just because of the way they look, because somebody's breast is saggy? It's not, her breast is not saggy, that's just the way her breast is. That's my own opinion. After all, a lot of women, even if your breast is standing, I'm sure by the time you start giving birth, your breast will just be down. That's the honest truth. So I don't understand all this nonsense comment people are always talking about her. I just love the fact that she's very comfortable, confident on her body. You know? And that's her body. She can do whatever she chooses to do with it. I don't think anybody should be. It's, it's herself and God. We judge that matter. So I don't think it's a good thing for people to be body shaming someone. You know? If you read all this Nigerian news on the internet, all this platform, where you can get Nigerian news, oh my God, you can see some comments about her, you will just be like, Jesus. It's like when somebody is too overconfident. Sometimes when you are too confident in your body, people can mis can misjudge the person a lot. They can even turn it to something else. Okay, guys, this video <laughs> I don't want it to be more than twenty something minutes, so maybe I should finish the hair. So today is a hair day, making my hair with you guys. Today is the 4th of August, so I choose to show you guys today how I make my hair like this one now, I'm trying to part it properly. Show you guys how I make my hair and discuss with you guys. Please always support my video, my channel, watch my videos. Give me a thumbs up, tell me how I'm doing. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the hair and then I'll come and show you guys how it looks like but well, you guys can already see you can see that it's taking shape already so let me finish the hair and i'll show you guys okay okay guys so my hair is nearly done as you can see from the back i just got two i just got two left yeah guys so the hair is nearly done. 
I think it's either two or three I got left. Don't know if you guys can hear me because I'm backing you guys. Sorry. I just thought I would show you guys. The hair is nearly done. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's do the remaining two that is left. Okay. So I'm just sectioning the remaining two. I think it's two that is left. Let me see. Because there's one here. You see that two? I want to see if... If I can't hold it two of them, if I can't hold it into two, then I have to make it three. Because there's one here. Okay, so maybe it should be three. Yeah, so there's one on my side here, which I'm going to do now. Yeah, this one here. So I'm just going to hold it together. I hope you guys can see it very well. Just twist it. I don't know what this hairstyle is called, but when I was growing up, we used to call it buns, puff puff, puff puff. That's what we used to call it when I was growing up, puff puff. Okay, I think I can hold the remaining one into one. So this is the remaining one here, guys. So I think I can hold it into one. Let me try. So I take two elastic. Okay. So I'm going to try and hold it into one. Yeah, I think I can hold it into one. Okay guys, so that's it. Let's put a bit of cream. If it's too tight, what I do is I just ease it out. If it's too tight. Because I don't want unnecessary discomfort. So I've been putting my cream. I've been putting my cream on the lines. That's where as I go, I'm trying to put the creams on the lines just to moisturize my scalp. So that's, that's how I do my, how I style my natural short, my short natural, is it natural, they call it natural 4C here. I don't know if that's how they call it. But that's how I do it. That's how I grow it. I style it. Sometimes I twist it myself. Okay. So I just put a bit more cream on the section where I feel I haven't put cream yet. I just put the cream. So you guys should tell me, what do you think? Did I try? Did you guys think I try? Please leave it in the comment section. Although the lines are not very straight, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the most important thing is that the hair grows. You know? My hairdresser said I should have cut my hair again. <laughs> and I'm always cutting it. I will grow it so long and then I'll cut it short. Even my daughters, my daughter are precious actually. She said, Mommy, don't cut your hair again. <laughs> you know, I always cut it when I'm tired of it. Like when I'm tired, when it grows long and to comb it becomes a bit of a tax. Too difficult to do. So, and then I end up cutting it. So I'm done with the hair now, guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section. So that's what you're going to be seeing me with for the main time. When it's getting messy, I take it out and redo it again. So sometimes I carry this for like a week sometimes, or maybe less than a week, but most of the time I carry it for like a week. And then I redo it again. Okay, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. We've come to the end of this today's vlog. Today's vlog is my hair. So it's hair there. I'm making my hair. Showing you guys how I style my short uh, natural 4C hair. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying. You learn something. I'm sure you can do your own hair. Just the way I've done mine. If you don't bother about what people will think or say or how they will look at you. I'm sure you can style your hair like this until it grows. Can't be going to the hairdressers every time I'm spending 60 pounds to make the hair. Okay, guys, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
and then turn on your notification bell to be notified when i post a new video love you all guys thanks for supporting me god bless you for supporting me god support you as well thanks guys for watching i'll catch you guys see you guys tomorrow on the fifth bye guys with interesting content okay guys bye